What's up, YouTube? So today we're gonna be going over uh, basically just my exhaust system and what I've done to it, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> um, give you guys a couple different clips, a couple different. Um, uh, I have sound clips on the good stuff. But uh, so basically, all I did with my exhaust was I ran a muffler delete. And basically, for what you guys, for those of you who didn't know, know maybe or um, are wondering what that is, all you do for a muffler delete is you just take off the rear muffler. So most cars, if not every car, has. Um, a front resonator and a rear muffler. What the front resonators do is basically they resonate out the high RPMs and the rear mufflers resonate out the low RPMs. So um, with mine, with the, with the muffler delete that I ran, um, you can hear the low RPMs really well, but once I run, you know, a wide open throttle, it sounds basically the same as stock. I mean, it's a little louder, but, um, it's not crazy loud and screaming and all that stuff when I get on it. It's just nice when I start cruising and um, you can just hear it and it's a good sound. It's very, uh, very good sound actually. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. And as far as an exhaust system goes, I mean, it was super cheap. I mean, for what I got, it was well worth the money. Um, I mean, you're not going to be... With these cars specifically, you're not going to get any huge specific or significant gains off of a um, off of a professional exhaust kit or a, like a Magnaflow exhaust system. I mean, you'd maybe see a little throttle response, maybe, but the most you get out of it is um, just an upgraded sound, I guess. But with what I got, I'm very, very happy. I mean, I could not be happier, honestly, with uh, the results I got out of this. So, um, I'll give you guys a couple exhaust clips here soon, once I can find a place. <clears throat> but, I will say, Probably one of the cheapest things I've done to my car and one of the most significant things I've done to my car was the muffler delete. And I love it. I'm, I mean, the one reason, the one major reason why I did the muffler delete and didn't just like straight pipe it, because I mean, if you want something just loud and obnoxious and in your face, just straight pipe the car. Take both the resonators and the mufflers off and just open the puppy up and just basically just let hell rain down on everybody around you. But if you want something a little more refined, uh, something that doesn't have a drone in the cabin, all that good stuff, um, then definitely the muffler delete is what you want to do. But, um, no, I'm very, very, very happy. It was a uh, well worth the money. And again, like I was saying, the reason why I did the muffler delete was to play off my other points. Um, because I did not want the drone inside the car. Um, my girlfriend and I would take this car everywhere. My friends and I would take this thing everywhere. So it's nice to have a car where I can hold a nice conversation and not have it, you know, super obnoxious or in your face all the time to the point where you can't even talk with it inside, like within the car. Which doesn't make sense. You know, especially if you got friends and, you know, such of people riding inside your car. This doesn't make sense. <clears throat> so, we will see if we can get up here. Find a good place to set up the camera and just let it rip a couple times. 
I need to find an area I'm not gonna get pulled over. So as far as anyone, um, as far as who can do a muffler delete, basically any muffler shop will do it for you. You just have to go in, ask them, um, or tell them, hey, this is what I want. Uh, I want the mufflers taken off. Um, just up to the front resonators, just use the same piping um, as what's on the car already. Or same diameter in piping, sorry, don't use the same piping because it's going to be all old and rusted out. But use the same diameter in piping as what's on the car already because honestly it doesn't make sense to go with bigger. Um, as far as airflow goes, the airflow is already constricted up at the front, so if you open it up in the back, you're not going to really see any gains in that. But um, and after you do that at the exhaust, um, at any muffler shop, then I mean, they'll get it done with you or done for you within maybe 30 to 40 minutes. I mean, it's really not that hard to do. There's a lot of people that do at home applications and they do the same thing. All they do is they just take out the rear mufflers or whatever and they're able to run piping on their own. And there's plenty of tutorials on that if you wanna learn how to do it and you can do it on basically any car. I, however, had someone do it for me.